Well, my final race of the week is the start as always Chase Qualifier. And quite what is going to happen now? Goodness, only knows after that last race. Well, Ketos is at the top for Stu Gray. Let's hope that one stays visible. MC Hammer for Paul Rhodes. Media Agency for Paul Rhodes as well. Maximum Mayhem for Alex Cherry. Pretty much sums up the day, really. More, craft, more Cat Gray for Thomas Rogers. Blockley Tutor James Shea. Profits Passion David Hooley. Admiral Ascoli for Martin Lederman. Denit for Stu Gray. So, calling it away then. What a week yesterday. Stu had invisible fences. And today, I've got invisible horses. So, they go for the first. And... Um, Keep your eye on them and see if they're all there because we might miss a few. And it's Denitz in the lead from Admiral Ascoli second. Then Blockley Tutor is third. Ketos is after that one. And then Morecat Great Media Agency is next. And the early back marker is Profits Pash as they take the second of the 12. And Denitz is in the lead. And he'll keep counting the horses up and making sure they're still there. But it's Denitz in front by about two to three lengths. As they get two to third. And they're all safely over that one with Denitz in front, MC Hammer just showing second, then Morecat Great and Maximum Mayhem. The Grey Admiral Ascoli is also close up as well. Denitz in front takes his turn, leads by three lengths. To MC Hammer is in second. And the fourth they go with the Nitz in front. MC Hammer second, Maximum Mayhem third, Blockley Tutor is fourth, then Profits Passion, and then Media Rains in Ketos with Admiral Ascoli after that one. And then Profits Passion and Morkoff Grey, more Cat Grey, sorry, the back marker. So the Nitz. Through the rain, with an action packed week, and Cheltenham Festival is always a good week, and with some pretty exciting races, some great finishes. Dead heat in the champion hurdle, 1 2 for Leon Van Rensburg in the Gold Cup, and then we've had some fun and games elsewhere, haven't we, with those invisible fences yesterday, and then in that last race, Stu's horse just disappearing but still winning. Media Agency is in second. And block the tutors third as they take the sixth. And we've still got more fun to come as long as I think there's a few more races after this one that Stu's going to take you through. We've got a few hunter chases. I'm 100% sure, but I think this is only race 38 or 39, so there might well be a few more to go. And Denitz is in front from Media Agency second. Blockley tutor third. Then Profits Passion and Maximum Mayhem. MC Hammer and Morecat Great and Ketos and Admiral Ascoli is now the back marker. And the Nitz skips over the seventh in the lead. We've got three clear of Media Agency second, Blockley Tutor third, Profits Passion fourth, Morecat Gay, More, uh, Morecat Grey is next, then mid MC Hammer, Maxim Mayhem. And there's a fall on there. Media Agency's gone. So Media Agency has gone. Hit that one hard. Gave the jockey no chance, really. So bad luck for Paul Rhodes. He's still got MC Hammer, who's in the race as they get over the ninth. And over that one they go. They've still got a mile to go and only three more fences to take. And Blockley Tutor has now gone on into the lead. From Dunitz in second, MC Hammer is third, Maximum Mayhem is fourth. Then Ketos and Profits Passion, and Admiral Ascoli, the grey being driven along. And Morecat Grey, the back marker at this point. As they race down towards this turn, they are swing left-handed. You can see the third last ahead of them looks like a ditch from this distance. And it's Blockley Tutor who's in the lead. Dunitz is second, MC Hammer is fourth. Five lengths down in third as they get to this ditch. The two leaders were over a little bit slowly. Then comes MC Hammer third. Maximum Mayhem. Admiral Ascoli is trying to get into it. Then Ketos, the top weight. More Cat Gray's next profits passion. The back Oh, and he's gone. Brock Blockley shoot as a faller at the second last. And disputing the lead. And that's left Denitz well clear. And Denitz is five lengths clear of Maximum Mayhem who moves into second. MC 
Burning Hammer is in third. Morecut Grey is in fourth. And a big gap back to the rest of them are surely beaten. But it's Demitz in the lead. Denitz comes down towards the next. He's in the lead. I think there's only one more fence to take. And Denitz is in front from Maximum Mayhem in second. Then comes Morecut Grey. MC Hammer is next. Admiral Ascoli is really eating up the ground. Keatops is trying to get into it as well. But there's only two and a half furlongs to go and only one fence to jump. And Denitz looking like he's probably only going to jump it for another one for Stu Grey. Could he get a start as all just qualified double? It's Denitz in front, but Maximum Mayhem is beginning to close. Morecat and Grey is next. Keep your on disappearing horses as they get over the final fence. And Denitz has now been headed by Maximum Mayhem. Maximum Mayhem takes it up from Denitz. Morecat and Grey in second. Admiral Ascoli is running on in fourth, but left it too late. And Maximum Mayhem for... Alex Jerry races up towards the line and takes it and gets some revenge on the last race. It's Maximum Mayhem wins it. Morecat Gray is second. Admiral Ascoli just got up for third. Then King Johnson and Denitz and Profits Passion. And all the way back to MC Hammer. So Alex Cherry takes the final starters orders chase qualifier. And Maximum Mayhem, I think Maximum Mayhem, Morecat Gray and Admiral Ascoli will all get through to the final with that one. So Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry, the winner, Morecat Gray for Thomas Rogers was second, Admiral Ascoli for me was third, and Ketos and Denitz fourth and fifth for Stu Gray.